Hey guys, this is Steven, and today we're going to be learning how to make a meta ball in Cinema 4D. One that looks kind of like this. It's not going to be exactly the same, but we're just going to try and do our best from scratch. So let's get started. We're going to delete these and start new. So the first thing we want to do is have a sphere. So we're going to come up to this cube tab, hold on it, and select sphere. After that, we're going to go up to MoGraph and go down to Cloner. And we're going to take the sphere and drop it like this into the cloner. We're going to select the cloner now. Go down to where it says mode under object. Click that and go down to grid array instead of linear. Now here you can select how many spheres you want and how far apart. Three is fine for our thing now. I'm just going to move them a little bit farther apart just so it's a little bit nicer for the end result. So that looks about good. So now we're going to create the meta ball. So we're going to come up to this tab right here that has the six cubes around the one cube. We're going to hold that down and select meta ball. All we have to do now is select the cloner like this and just take it and drag it into the meta ball like this. Now I know that looks nothing like our final result but we'll get there. So you're going to take the hull value this controls how much it conforms to the spheres so we're just gonna take this and drag it up because we don't want that big of an object so we're gonna keep on dragging it up till we get something that looks nice like that looks pretty good I mean you can see some definite shape but that looks good and it's not that crappy for now so as we're on the minute ball we're also gonna turn down the subdivision this will make these little white squares smaller so it looks smoother in the end result now if you're on a slower computer, I recommend somewhere around 10, but if you're on a faster computer, you can bump it around to 5, I won't go anywhere past that, and this just makes it smooth, so I'm going to go with 7 because mine's sort of in between. So we have that, and now all we have to do is randomize it. So what we're going to do is select cloner, now this is important, you must have the cloner selected, and we're going to come over here to MoGraph, Effector, and go down to Random. And this will construe everything, so it makes it look more like an actual meta ball. Now to our random settings, we're going to come over to here to Parameter, and this is where you can make all the changes you want. It can be anything you want. So let's say we want more outside, we can drag up the X, but I'm not going to do that because that just I don't like it like that. So I'm going to drag that back down to 50. Maybe up a little bit. So let's just put the X to around 100. Why not? And we'll just play with these settings until you get something that's really random and you like it. So that looks pretty cool. But now if you want to get smaller spheres and bigger spheres, all you have to do is come over here to scale select scale then go to uniform scale and select that and you can change the size and randomness of each individual ball so right now that looks pretty good that looks like a nice random meta ball and that's pretty much it guys that's how you make a meta ball in cinema 4d i'm just going to add a color to this make it nice and we're going to render this out and that is a meta ball i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you like it, subscribe and stay tuned for more guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.